Hello, welcome to a first how-to video. Uh, so, as you can see, this is a kind of a pile of mess, but tried to make it laid out as best as I could. Uh, so, it's a how-to video of how to take apart a coach uh, for reasons. Uh, the reason why I'm actually doing this is because um, as everyone knows that I have reviewed this uh, quite recently uh, so maybe some people want to take it apart because uh, to spray it, spray the roof uh, I plan on spraying the roof because it's a bit too plasticky uh, the sides aren't that bad, uh, there's no numbers um, but I'm hoping to spray one of these in network rail and the rest uh, probably keep them uh, so also uh, if you want to see the review uh, it should be somewhere on the channel uh, probably next in line for this uh, so obviously this is my first how to video uh, all you shall probably need is a pair of tweezers and a screwdriver uh, I'm using a Rolson precision screwdriver that's all I could find straight away so uh, also, uh, you don't really need to use this, but I do use this. It's a part dish. It's basically a magnetic one, so as you can see that it, it does not. So uh, There are two springs in there. Uh, you do not need to take off the springs um, and two screws. No, not two screws. Uh, three screws. So let's move all this out of the way. Um, the springs come off these, uh, which are the NEM couplings, um, and the wheels, uh, big metal weight, gives it quite a bit of weight. Try and move all these out of the way. Uh, and also you would need something to hold it. Um, you don't really need to, but um, this is so... Like I said, that you can have just the sides, so they're quite easy to spray as well. Um, it's like they were made for this. Uh, so, this is kind of getting a bit in the way. So, uh, what I shall do is move the parts dish out of the way and bring it as it is needed and some tools. Uh, so, just to protect the loco, uh, I have put it in there. So, let's. I'm trying to make this the best way as I can. There we go. Right, so there is one screw there. Uh, this will be the first screw that I will shall well shall take off. Uh, so this is quite easy to do, but uh, the reason why is because loads of people have asked me to uh, show them. So uh, the next thing you do uh, is take off the bogies, you just pull them off, uh, little plastic clips. Um, if people are familiar in taking coaches away, uh, it should be quite easy. But be aware when you do put it back on, uh, this should be facing the far part here, uh, just for the couplings. So, let's move that over there so I don't mix them up so obviously do the other side uh, you could do it in pretty much any order uh, you could take off both bogeys uh, or just one and then come back to the other one next so what you shall need to use now is uh, you can skip this level and just pull the, low, the finger apart or you can take this off uh, for probably individual weathering uh, if you really need to. So what you need to do, best way I've found out is get one side of the tweezer underneath the plastic and then it should lift it out and then you pull, well you pull it back and the spring should come off as well. So let's just hopefully take this off without it going everywhere uh, let's 
well, this is going well already, isn't it? So, I shall be back in a sec. Sorry about that, uh, it was a bit stuck, so it is in my fingers right now. Uh, you could just about see it. So, put that somewhere safe, uh, it is in the metals parts dish, and do the other side. Um, like I said, that this is quite hard to do. Um, so, hopefully this one should come off in one piece. Uh, you, you might find that it will probably st one part of the spring should probably fit off. Uh, that's come off in one. So uh, even if you don't want to take the spring off, uh, this kind of fell off. Obviously, uh, you just put it in the magnetic parts parts dish. So um, and you should see the screw there now, uh, which if I show you right now. Uh, that it is covered by there. Uh, you could also do that, but it risks damaging the middle part if you like push it like that. Uh, so there are a couple of different ways that you could do this. So the next thing, obviously, is to take these screws off. And this one. And the best thing about this is uh, now it is completely off and easiest thing to do is take it out. I'm trying to show you this kind of uh, pull on somewhere where there is not much detail because these are kind of quite fragile. So let's move it over here and just pull. That's all you have to do. The metal weight is not fixed down, so uh, you can glue it down uh, if you really wish to, or even remove it. Um, I am going to keep it in, uh, as I've got enough weights separately. So, you move that out of the way. Um, also, the end parts come off it, so you can weather uh, the ends if you really so wish to. And you can also weather this. Um, I do plan on weathering it. Now you come to uh, kind of the, well, kind of a hard part. Uh, you just pull on each side. Uh, it shouldn't damage it. Um, well, in fact, actually, uh, what you need to do is pull upwards like that. And there. And then pull that. So, and now obviously you've got the seating out. Uh, these are quite easy to do. Um, you could also add some passengers in it. Uh, so I do plan on doing that, unless it's a network rail one. And uh, be careful when you're taking these off. You can see clips across here. Uh, these are the only clips on uh, the carriage. Uh, so. What you need to do is pull and move along and then pull again and um, show you again. Pull. Uh, sometimes it comes off in one, sometimes it could come off in two. And then obviously uh, you can pull, well, you can spray the roof in whatever desired colour you want. Uh, so that's kind of about it for it. Um, if you want to know how to put it back together just watch it like back to front uh, just repeat what you were doing the opposite way around so I shall go put these both back together and show you them on the track uh, so that's kind of about it I uh, hope this helps a couple of people uh, and gives some kind of help on these um, I suggest that you check out the reviews, um, not just mine, Will has done one and a couple of other people. Uh, so, go check them out. Uh, these aren't round much longer, uh, probably for the last of this week. Uh, so, I shall see you soon and leave you with some running shots with these put together. So, I know I... 
probably just said that, uh, let's say, running around the track. Uh, I mean, where uh, they will be pretty much. Uh, so, it's just big enough for three Mark 1s, uh, which are these ones. You move the screwdriver out of the way. That last one was not on the track properly. So, that's pretty much where she lives now, uh, where the three coaches live uh, in the finger yard. So, uh, there's no other room where to put them uh, except the TMD and Loco shed, but that's already got two Mark 3s and a Mark 1 coach, uh, as you can see here, uh, and I don't want to really clutter it up with too many coaches. Um, TMD is going to have, obviously, DMUs and everything, and I'm kind of planning something there. So that's kind of about it. Um, I shall see you soon for a, another video. Uh, bye for now.